Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Sunbay. This is their wireless speaker with alarm clock function. You can check this out on Amazon at the time of this review for $39. I'll have that link in the description below as always. If you want to check out Sunbay, you can check them out at www.tsumbay.com. Go check them out. Is this alarm clock worth your coin? Let's dig into it now and check it out. Let's check out a few specifications on the back here. There is 10 watts of speaker power, two individual 5 watt speakers. There is a 2200 milliamp rechargeable battery. Transmission distance is up to 49 feet. Playtime is up to 10 hours. Charge time is about 2 hours, and it's rechargeable by a micro USB 5 volt 1 amp input. Dimensions are 195 by 65 by 55 millimeters, and it weighs 395 grams. So let me get this unboxed for you so that we can check out all the functions this has. This has uh, a bunch of different functions such as FM radio, local playback, Bluetooth, and more. So once you get everything out of the box, of course, you get the main unit itself. You get a user guide and you get two different cables here. First is your charging cable. It's a standard USB to micro USB charging cable. You can plug this into any USB port that you would like uh, to charge that internal battery, uh, or you can use your phone's USB to wall charger. You get a 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter aux cable to hook up devices that don't have Bluetooth as well. Now the model number on this is NX-5025. Uh, this does a pretty good job at uh, going over all your button functions uh, and specifications here. Uh, I've already gone over some from outside of the box, but I will leave this up if you guys want to check out any more uh, that I may have missed. Uh, we'll just go over them real quickly. There is an FM radio, a clock, alarm clock, thermometer, and hydrometer. Uh, you've got a working modes of Bluetooth, aux in, uh, TF card, which is your micro USB, and of course, FM radio. Bluetooth version is 4.2. A2DP, AVR, CP, HSP, and HFP profiles are supported. Two 5-watt speakers, a 2200 milliamp battery, and of course, two-hour charging time, up to 32 levels of volume as well, which we're going to demonstrate here in just a few minutes. Very nice, all written in English. The print is a little small, but it does a good job at uh, telling you everything you need to know about this specific unit and all its button layouts. Speaking of the unit itself, on the front, you've got a nice big display for numbers. It is all white LED. On the top, you're going to have all of your uh, audio buttons on the left-hand side, your clock buttons on the right-hand side. You've got a mode button here that will cycle you through a Bluetooth and FM radio and local playback. Multifunction button for pause, play, and uh, picking up phone calls. Uh, in the middle, there is a microphone for that. And you also have forward track, reverse track, volume up and down buttons. On the right-hand side, you've got a clock button for setting your clock settings. And then you also have a snooze, which is also doubled as a button for your uh, three levels of brightness. On the uh, fronts here, you have two 5-watt speakers. On the bottom, you have a nice rubber ring to hold it to whatever table you're going to have it on. And then on the back, uh, it, it is plastic on the top and bottom, but metal all the way around to the back. So you do have a metal grill that runs to the back. You're going to have a dedicated on and off switch, a 3.5 millimeter aux jack, a, a DC 5 volt in for power, and of course your micro SD card slot for local music playback as well. I like that they put a dedicated on off switch on this. Uh, that's uh, something that I like to see on these units. If you do want to leave this plugged into your DC 5 volt, again, you can just hook it up to your phone charger or anything as like that as well. Now, let me get this set up and I'll be around. Okay, at this point, I'm all set up and I want to point out just a few different things uh, that I don't like before we get into the rest. Now, here you can see that we are in... Uh, Celsius here, and you cannot change that to Fahrenheit. Uh, being in the United States, uh, Fahrenheit would have been nice, uh, but if you don't mind doing the conversion from Celsius to Fahrenheit, then that should be fine for you. 
Another thing that I want to point out is that it only does 24-hour time format. It does not do 12-hour time format. That's just a nitpick uh, for me. I like 12-hour format. I don't like 24-hour, and I also wouldn't like to have to convert it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So those are the two things. If you don't mind the Celsius to Fahrenheit and you don't mind 24-hour uh, format, then everything else on this, as you're going to see, is a really nice deal for the price. Let us get our phone here. Let us set up Bluetooth uh, holding down the mode button. Do not just tap the mode button on the front here. Um, the first thing I'll show you before we even do that is our brightness levels. You can turn it all the way off, so that's great if you don't want to see the time. Uh, very low for when you're sleeping or something like that. You have three levels of brightness here, uh, and the brightest looks really good, even in full light. Now, when you hold down the mode button to get into Bluetooth, you're going to see a little Bluetooth icon pop up. Uh, if it was already set up on something with Bluetooth, that would be fine. What you're going to have to do is hold this down for a longer period of time to get it to start blinking. Once it's started to blink, which it will do right now, you are now in pairing mode so that you're set up for uh, being paired on a phone uh, or whatever you're going to hook up to this. So we're going to take a look here and uh, it'll take a second. We're going to search for it. It'll come up as the NX5025 and we're going to pair it. A uh, very uh, quick, simple, easy pairing process. It does take a few seconds to pair. Uh, it's not the fastest pairing process that I've seen, but once you're set up, uh, you're good to go and no problems whatsoever. So now we are connected for call and media audio. Again, you can take phone calls with this. And during my testing, I had no problems with phone calls, uh, people hearing my voice or anything like that. You can adjust your volume levels to whatever you like. We're going to leave ours pretty much here in the mid-range. And I'm going to do some playback for you. So there you go, and of course you can always uh, use your uh, left and right buttons to go up to volume levels up to 32. Uh, we were pretty much set right around 15 or so, uh, so you can see that we were less than halfway, and that's what the sound was like. Uh, so it has some really good sound to it, and it actually includes some pretty decent bass. Now if you want to do the FM, you'll just have to hit the mode button like I just did, and then you'll hit the... Uh, multifunction button and it will scan through and search for FM channels for you and when it finds one it will automatically add it uh, so easy to set that up and works very very well I'm not going to let you go through the whole entire thing but as you can see it's adding channels as it finds them and the FM was also very very nice on this as well now, the last quick thing I did want to mention is you can set three different alarms on this and I'm going to play some of the alarm sounds for you or you can use FM radio as well. So you can set up to three different simultaneous alarms on this alarm clock. So that's my review of the Sunbay Wireless a speaker with alarm clock and radio. A lot of different function in this for $39. You've got your FM radio, your aux in, your Bluetooth, local playback, you've got temperature and humidity, of course, three alarms as well. So I think they did a pretty good job for $39.99. Uh, overlooking the fact that it's always in Celsius and it is only in 24-hour time format. If you can do that, this is a solid buy. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. Remember to like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so because that always helps me out. And I'll check you guys out on the next video. Oh, Sunday.